right, hello everyone. Just an update here on my WRX, a 2022 WRX Sport uh, purchased in Canada. And uh, I've done a few videos and I've done some things to the car since and just wanted to go for a drive and maybe a better point of view. Hopefully you guys can see the shift, uh, the shifter um, and all the work uh, that I'm doing. And uh, I'll give some commentary as well about things that I've done to the car and my impressions. So let's get going. Foot on the clutch. All right, so first, uh, hopefully you're hearing this, uh, is the ETS um, axle back exhaust. So an aftermarket axle back exhaust. And I find that uh, the rumble is really, really great. My hearing is not uh, crazy good and I can't uh, tell like tones and like certain things like that. I'm not uh, not an expert at that, but to me the ETS exhaust axle back uh, was um, the number one choice, so to speak. It kind of sounded the most like, you know, the previous gen STI if it had, uh, um, if it had uh, equal length headers uh, like the VB does so anyways the, the rumble uh, kind of felt to me like the most uh, super rumble so that's the axle back let's go through this light here I wanted to uh, maybe comment about the screen I was just kind of thinking about it I've got the oil temperature right here right here water temperature I like to wait until oil temperature is at 60 before I spool up the turbo, before I go over 3,000 or 3,500 RPMs or so. And I've really gotten used to it. The information is nicely displayed. I basically always just use Apple uh, CarPlay. So that's always on the screen. Other than now, I, I don't want it to uh, interfere with the video. So yeah, um, Apple CarPlay is always, is always on. I've got uh, Google Maps. Um, which is displaying really nicely on this larger screen. I've also got right here, you might be able to see the cord, I'm not sure. It's, uh, it's a wireless uh, adapter for Apple CarPlay. So you get this, you put it into your USB, and you have wireless Apple CarPlay. Um, this device works quite well, and uh, there is a drawback if you're asking, that's about a half a second or a second delay on uh, certain apps, mainly on the navigation. On music stuff, you don't uh, you don't hear it. There's no no discernible delay. But I, I do find that on Google Maps, you know, after you turn, it takes another second, and then it shows it that you're turning. So that's new as well. Uh, we're almost at 60 degrees here, and then we'll we'll go for a bit of a rip. What else is new? So yeah, I love this ETS exhaust. Uh, with the stock exhaust, the cold start is rough, it's loud, it's kind of more than what uh, you'd expect but then when driving it really dies down below a certain rpm the stock exhaust is just uh, a little too civil for my taste so i went with this uh, ets it also looks beastly uh, i might do another video I, I will do another video showing the ets exhaust and then another surprise a uh, little addition on the rear bumper you'll see just stay tuned. And uh, this is a new point of view, um, kind of a mount that I'm recording with or through. So let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you're enjoying the ride as well. It's a very nice straightforward road from work to home for me. Alright, we're at 68 degrees, so we can have 
have some fun and I do want to divulge that I've bought uh, the access port, the call access port for this car and I'm um, trying to keep everything uh, very conservative still as far as the extra power added to the car at all. So, so far all that I've done is that ETS axle back, stage one tuned via the access, uh, access port, the off the shelf one, nothing crazy, nothing else, not even the 93 tune, just the 91 octane tune, and uh, the car feels amazing now, by the way, really feels like STI sorts of power now, and even better at lower uh, RPM. Uh, so the peak, peak boost is now at 15.3 versus 12.6 or so, or 12.5. So about 3 PSI more, about 20%, and definitely feels like 20 to 25%. More powerful than before. Uh, the power is more linear. I don't feel like I need to squeeze the pedal in order to get the power. The power is just there. Before the tune, I would find myself often getting to uh, very high RPMs and, and redline like all the time and with the tune I just don't get there I feel like 4500 I'm shifting 5500 uh, at most but I'm just not tempted to go that close to redline whereas before I even I wanted the redline to be farther up or farther down with higher RPMs whichever way you look at it This is rush hour, but it's not. This is kind of usual. COVID traffic was great. I do have shift stops installed on the uh, shifter. I've got the ones that prevent it from moving too much side to side. I don't have the, uh, uh, the more modern ones. But they're the ones that they came up with uh, recently that also uh, give a limitation to the up and down move. stock so it's really just cop doing their thing and again uh, with the 91 octane map I just feel like it's conservative enough that I don't have to monitor things all the time maybe I will one day um, especially if I, if I really want to drive hard but for now I'm loving the benefit that I don't have to drive it as hard I don't have to go to the super high RPMs to enjoy the same power So if you thought that it was an easy car to drive before that, you know, with the access port, it's, again, it really livens it, it makes everything even easier.
and it's currently on uh, winter rims and tires. Other than that, I'm uh, 11, almost 11,000 kilometers in. So that's about uh, six or 7,000 miles. And uh, very trouble free, uh, very much just like new. If anything, it's broken in a little bit. Maybe the shifting is a little bit smoother. Engine maybe a bit more uh, free revving. It's just in my head, but anyways, the car feels like it would have no issue uh, getting to two, 250, 300,000 kilometers. And stock components, as long as you drive uh, somewhat conservatively. Or sparingly, spiritedly. Pretty nice. All right, so that'll be it uh, for now. Just wanted to record that drive, give an update, uh, let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, maybe I can. I'll definitely be doing more videos and more thorough stuff. Uh, maybe I'll figure out the mounting points and uh, get some better gear. Um, let me know what you guys want to see. 22 WRX with the access ports. Axel back. I'll definitely do a video on that sometime during the day. Have a good night.